Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Ironhide. Um, as you can see, his alter mode is a pickup truck. Uh, he's a repaint and a retool of off-road uh, from the same line. And all that is not bad. I'm going to talk about the figure in general in a minute, but the primary colors mostly are very nice. G1 Spire does have the red, does have the nice yellowish gold stripe on the sides here, which is pretty cool. Um, and all in all, it's not bad. Uh, it does have some silver, some gray, some palish blue for the windows and the windshield, which is nice. And very reflective too, which is nice. Uh, now the figure in general. The figure in general. Um, I know a lot of people don't like this figure because it's not Ironhide, because Ironhide was a van in G1. Um, but basically, it would have been nice if they used the first aid mold for this as opposed to as opposed to off-road. So yeah. Um, but yeah, the accessories he comes with. Oh, does have, forget to continue on, he does have an Autobot symbol right there on his hood there, which is pretty nice. So yeah, going back to the accessories. Same combiner weapon, uh, does have a nice little detail there, nice little those little quadruple barrels of death, and he comes with the same axe as Offroad did, though painted gray as opposed to blue. Or purple, I should say. Why did they say blue? Maybe he had hints of blue, I don't know. Anyways, all in all, the truck was not bad. I know a lot of people, it would have been nice, because, I mean, Ironhide was a pickup truck in the live action film series, um, up until his death in Dark of the Moon. Um, <laughs> I've already explained that. But basically, it would have been nice if they gave him the movie verse kind of color scheme. I just just saying, it would have been nice. I know they gave him the G1 look, and I, I don't mind each I don't mind either either way. But maybe this will be maybe repainted in Ironhide again, maybe in the movie verse colors down the line. Who knows? Anyways, so the transformation for Ironhide is exactly the same as with off-road. So again, I will not be going too much detail into the transformation as I do with most of my repaints. So, again, if you really want to know how he, um, if you want to know detail-wise how he transforms, take a look at, at my review of Off-Road and you'll understand. It's pretty much the same thing. It's something real, real fancy or whatever. Um, and yeah. So yeah, get the arms raised up. They're a little tighter on Ironhide as opposed to um, Off-Road. So I think they added the, tef the toughness aspect into Ironhide. But who knows? Maybe they just maybe it's just my copy. And I'm going to talk about a funny story when I got him. I'll mention that. But yeah, there you have Ironhide in robot mode. Although he is not bad, um, minus the the front of the truck hovering his back. So, anyways, articulation wise, it's exactly the same as before with the arms and the head and the legs and whatever. So, and the waist. So, not much really to say. Although the trickiest part obviously is the legs, so just be real careful when you uh, transform this dude. So I know off-road's tricky, but yeah. Um, take a look at his head. It is a very cool figure, or very cool thing. Um, now this is the funny, I'll get to the funny story right now. When I was at the store, when I was, it was at Toys R Us when I got this guy, I found like at least 12, 15 copies of this guy. One of them was on the very front row. And his head was missing. No joke. I did, and I looked in the box, and the box was completely fine. No one ripped it open or tore it apart. But the head was missing. I'm not even kidding. I even asked the, um, I even asked one of the, um, the one of the people who worked there, and asked, "Where's the head?" And I mean, I mean, obviously he didn't know, but it wasn't a big deal. But I was like, "What the heck?" Like, Ironhide cannot be complete without its head, or any figure for that matter. <sighs> if only if it, his head was on a swivel in that situation. Anyways, anyways, detail wise on the chest is not bad. The hall is not too. It's not bad. I like the detail. His combiner weapons. Oh, just gonna get the get the panel situated. His combiner weapons. Uh, I just what I'd like to do is. <laughs> Give him his arm cannon, much like in the movies, in the movie verse, um, and then of course his axe, which is <laughs> really I don't recall Ironhide using an axe in G1 or the live action film series, though I could be wrong. I know Ratchet did, Ratchet did on several occasions. But what can you do? 
Um, oh, and he does have an Autobot symbol right above his crotch. So, yeah. And speaking of the devil, I forgot to do something in the Mirage video. One second while I come back, and here I return with these. Well, I'll start with Mirage here. Basically, it's his bio card. I forgot to mention that in the Mirage video. Sorry, Mirage. Um, can we be best friends? Yeah, okay, good. Um, basically, you got Mirage here on the front. You got nothing on the back. And I'll show Ironhide's real, real quick. There's Ironhide fighting into battle, and there's even artwork, uh, you can even find some artwork in the Transformers Devastation uh, video game, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, nice little detail here, generations at the back, so... Anyways, all in all, will I recommend getting Ironhide? Honestly, I would say recommend on this guy, I wouldn't say highly, I'm not trying to diss him, and I'm not saying Offroad's the superior, the superior figure, nor his first aid. But to be honest, Ironhide is very cool. I wish, I wish for the G1 fan's sake that he that the back of the truck would just be complete, so he'd have the van look like he did in G1, as opposed to the live action, live action version with the just the pickup look. It's not a big deal, but in all honesty, it doesn't matter. I think he's a pretty cool figure, and I don't think he'll he'll disappoint you a bit. Uh, I know I've been keeping saying that in my reviews. What am I saying? <laughs> Anyways, that is my video review of the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Ironhide. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible with my next video, and yeah, so take care, see you soon, have a good day, and I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.